Hello and welcome to episode 21 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build video series with a bad tide just now started in cycle 30, day 14. Now, before we get too much further, we're going to hit pause because you guys in the comments of the last video alerted me to a very disturbing thing that I have done, and that is build a whole bunch of pathing right underneath this waterfall here. So in just a moment, when our bad water comes all the way through, this entire half of this whole thing and this entire half of this whole thing are going to be impassable poison death. So let's avoid that. <laughs> let's, let's not do that. Let's instead choose life for our beavers here. And we will have to figure out a better way of doing this. And I think... The best thing for us to do is going to be to come in here and actually blast out an opening so this does not retain any water. So I think I think the best thing best thing for us to do is going to be to just take these middle what four? Yeah, middle four. Blast that out down two so it creates this little lip thing and they can just go zoop right down the middle. I don't know that they're going to be able to take care of that before it's too late. But I am, uh, I'm very curious, very curious to see if they can. Uh, just to make sure that no one will be tempted, I will go ahead and remove the paths that are going underneath everything on both sides here. And we will, uh, we'll see what has to end up happening here. But I did not even think for a second that this was possible. And uh, I'm glad you guys caught it because if you had not, well, let's just say this would have been a very, very bad time for our beavers. But uh, you know, you know the drill. We'll get that taken care of and we'll get right back to what we were doing before, which is expanding all of our industrial stuff, uh, improving our trade routes between districts and so on and so forth. Lots of fun stuff to get done. And, you know, of course, all this expanding up here. So I want to see. I'm just, I'm so curious if this is actually going to fix that. I don't know that it will, but we'll find out. I've got some time to take care of it. Uh, but we have some other things we probably should be attempting to take care of today, including improving our water pumping situation, uh, despite having eight pumps in each corner of the, I guess we can call this the upstairs uh, it hasn't exactly been done uh, correctly, and uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something about it. There's a lot of stuff we gotta take care of. Firstly, uh, as someone pointed out in the comments, this water pump is backwards. Let's fix that, or I uh, or I completely lose my mind. Uh, we'll put that there. Now uh, we've got uh, should have access. Yes, through these ladders once those are placed to blow up the rest of this, have more water storage to begin with, and hopefully that ends up being good. Uh, but I believe we have... Yes, these are ready to go. Let's blast them out. So now we should see... Maybe this doesn't actually end up doing much of anything. I think, uh, I think we might want to... Uh, that's so strange how this flows like this. It, it almost looks like it's going up here at some point. I know it's not. But uh, I think we're... <laughs> okay, there it goes. There it goes. All right, that seems a lot more viable in terms of, you know, not uh, infecting anybody. So let's put our, uh, let's put our paths back here. <laughs> That's just, just a little terrifying to think about all the bad stuff that could have happened as a result of that. Uh, but we might mess with this, see if we can do anything else to take care of uh, all this stuff and then move on from there. Someone also left a comment that we didn't quite hook everything up uh, pathwise, although I think this one looks okay. It might have been might have been this other one over here that we're talking about. But it's never a bad idea to check and see. Aha! They're exactly correct because this was not fully connected. Looks like that is uh, all good to go. Cool. So thanks for looking out. Always, I do always read all the comments. I know I say it all the time, but uh, it bears repeating. I do actually read all of them. I can't respond to all of them. 
and sometimes it's not really much to say in response other than a thank you for watching or whatever but i do always read and i always try to make sure that why is this one only going down to one that's not right that's supposed to be wait hold on is this not hooked up to anything at all that is not what's supposed to be happening these aren't attached to any stream gauges at all what's up with that I thought I, uh, I thought I fixed this. Okay, that one's attached to that stream gauge. So is this one. Okay, so this entire... Wow, I'm glad I caught that. That is a problem. <laughs> let's, um, let's pause, first of all. Attach that, and then we'll attach this one as well. And then we just have to copy. I think I did that correctly. Wow, that could have been disastrous. So that's just check 1.5 and then check. Okay. Man, <laughs> that, could have, that could have been bad. So good thing we got that taken care of. That will open that one a little bit wider. I don't think we were going to have any back flooding problems, but that could have been what was causing uh, some of our issues before. Anyway, all that being said, this looks good now. Well, I liked it better when the water fanned out all the way across, but uh, this will keep our beavers from getting uh, poisoned, I suppose. Seems to work out just fine. Uh, we also, last time, started building our uh, metal harvesting area over here. We still have to do a lot of processing on the metal, which currently is happening over here. And we can also get our bots working uh, back over here because this second district which as of now has not been named but you can vote hopefully I've remembered to put it up but uh, check the community tan uh, community tab whatever on my channel I think is what I meant to say and you should see a poll for this district too based off of your suggestions in previous videos when I ask for those so you can vote on that and then we will I guess christen the new district in I think Thursday yeah, Thursday's when this next one's going to come out. So we'll take care of that. And hopefully we can get all sorts of other fun stuff done today. And that's not all. Not all we're doing today is just fixing this stuff. We do have plenty to get done up here. Uh, we're going to need a massive, massive influx of canola oil. Uh, we did take some steps last episode to improve that situation by putting four additional uh, oil presses here and planting a bunch of canola. Uh, but there is quite a lot that still needs to be uh, taken care of. We have our berries down here now. So I am going to unplant all of these uh, berries up here. And we will replace them with lag. Thank you. We will replace them with probably, probably not canola. Probably, I guess, soybeans over in this corner. Because I, I want to simplify the farming. Because right now I have... All of this space that I can do pretty much whatever with. I think the amount of food that we're going to need to go through is going to continue increasing as we get closer and closer to our 512 beaver capacity once all of this stuff takes off. Or at least our initial idea of a 512 beaver capacity. And each quadrant of the upper quadrant should be a different crop, I think. Now, we don't have 16 <laughs> different crops, but we can move stuff around. We can change things and see what works. Uh, this one right here, we have cassava. This one, we have canola. This is eggplants. This is coffee bushes. This is probably okay to stay like this as it is. And I might just keep this inner quadrant of each quadrant set up kind of like this with uh, growing some sort of crop and then some sort of processing uh, in a different area. But we do have... I need to plant kohlrabis more of, and we'll get to that. Uh, based off of our raw numbers, we have plenty of cassava. We could use more mushrooms, which we will eventually uh, keep adding more of those. Algae, we still have not run out of algae, but we probably should increase production on that. Uh, soybeans seem to be fine, so I'm not going to add more soybeans, but instead I'm going to kind of condense them into one spot. So we can have additional space for other things. I think this one right here would be good for just kohlrabis. 
by themselves. And then we'll, we'll experiment. We'll see. We are going to be moving the food out of this area and then eventually the builder's huts out of this area because we have all of this storage I would like to put in different spots and clear off some space for all sorts of other fun stuff. Now, the way we have these farmhouses set up here, uh, I think we want to continue uh, based on how these are set up. We got seven on this side then seven on this side. So we will be getting into that as well. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of those. And then we'll do the same thing up here just to standardize it. Like we have this set up that should, should being the operative term, help us out. So those and those will be gone. And that will help us uh, keep this mess from being quite so bad. Five farms here should be plenty to take care of everything, assuming stuff is actually being harvested appropriately. Uh, we probably, probably want to have some sort of storage situation for the uh, raw crops as we pull them out of the ground. But for right now, I think we are okay. Let's check our storages. So I can remember what I put where. Uh, I did not put any berry storage into this storage cluster. Uh, we have some for every other type of food, though, which is fine. Plenty of storage for the mangrove fruits because now we're having a lot of mangrove fruits. Since we know we have eight of these little areas here. So that seems to be doing just fine. Let's get rid of these gatherer flags here. These farmhouses are going to be gone. We're going to keep the exact same number of farmhouses, not to worry. Uh, I have the doorways facing that way. That seems to work just fine. And the outside, flip that around, assuming my computer will let me do it. Thank you. And there we go. That will clear up some central space to be used for planting other stuff, and that should be A-OK. -okay. Now, we have an option uh, over here. We have these breeding pods. As we have the higher uh, well-being score for the beavers, that will end up making it possible for us to not have to build a ton of breeding pods. But for right now, we still need more beavers than we can possibly supply ourselves. So I think we're going to have to continue adding some. Uh, this coffee bean storage really isn't ideal for how we have this set up right now. I think we probably should move uh, these water tanks and everything probably out somewhere else. But the berry storage right here is crucial because they have to keep refilling these uh, these breeding pods. So that's going to stay there. I think, though, this storage over here in the corner does not need to be there. Instead, we can come over here where we have all of these uh, berries growing and we can replace that with... Uh, some other storage in this general area. Where is our... Oh, we don't have gatherer flags over here. Now, why would I do that? <laughs> why, would, why would I do that that way? Why would I do that to myself? It doesn't really matter. We have the opportunity now to fix all of those problems. I'll get rid of this forester. Don't need it anymore since all the trees are planted. And instead, what I will do is I will put in two gatherer flags and I will unmark these trees for planting except for uh, this corner bit right here because I want to keep this clear for the choo choo mod when we get that going eventually but right here right here gather flags for the berries should be fine we don't really need to but I figured we probably would want to make sure that is taken care of for the future now, in terms of uh, how everything else is set up here, this is just kind of here because it was already here. That's not going to stay there. Uh, I'm going to have wood storage kind of like this. But we also need to have storage for stuff like berries, which I'm going to go ahead and put in. Where are the berries? There we go. Right there. Get rid of that. And that's fine. Don't worry. I don't know, for some reason, people seem to assume that it just destroys all the contents of the thing when I delete it. No, 
Um, it places all the contents on the ground. It's fine. No berries were harmed in the exploding of this storage. I can assure you it is fine. So let's go ahead and replant our soybean here and then all through the entire corner. Uh, I'm going to unplant the soybean here, here, and here. That's going to give us uh, a lot more space for other stuff. The amount of soybeans we added is greater than the ones that we took away. So that should be okay. We'll keep watching our uh, numbers of raw crops here. And you might be saying, wow, we're 17 minutes into the video. It's probably actually only 15 by the time I take out the loading. Uh, but we're still in single time speed. That's because we don't have to rush. We don't have to rush. I, I catch myself doing that all the time. And uh, it's probably going to behoove us to not do that whenever possible. Just take our time. Don't have to run around like chickens with our heads cut off. It's going to be okay. So let's give these guys something to do and uh, build some more storage like we had set up over on the other side there. Standardize how this is laid out. Everything should be A-OK. -okay. Just make sure we set these up the same way because why? There's not really any reason to, but that's just how my brain wants to work. This outside one was algae. I'm so glad that I figured out, thanks to you guys in the comments, that I can just hold down tab and do that. Actually, no, the inside was corn. <laughs> inside was the corn rations, mind you. Outside was the algae. Outside on this one is eggplant, which is here. Inside was the fermented cassava. Outside here was the fermented mushrooms. Inside was the fermented soybeans. And then at the top, is mangrove fruits and kohlrabis. Mangrove fruits getting more storage because it's further away. And then the kohlrabi is getting these first ones there. And there you have it for processed food. Uh, the idea being we're not going to need a bunch of storage for the raw food. If we have tons of storage for the processed food so we can get caught up with all of that. And that should be okay. We got ladders book ending both sides. Did I have it uh, facing the inside? Yes, I did. Or I guess the ladder itself on the inside is what I'm getting at. So that'll take care of that. Put our thing right there. And then this like so. I believe that is all the way down. It looks like it is. Those are accessible. It looks like they are. And there you have it. That's going to be a bunch of nice additional storage. And we can slowly, slowly start getting rid of all of this stuff. Uh, I will get rid of all of these storages right here. Uh, these raw storages are going to go away as well. We will be fine. The amount of refining uh, space that we have and store some. But let's also keep in mind, we have all of this storage up here that has some degree of capacity. That will be okay. We got storage for 400 raw cassava. We've got 200 raw, uh, what's that called? Soybeans. Yep. <laughs> And then we have all of this storage for stuff like the uh, uh, the gears that don't necessarily have to be in these exact spots. Let's actually pause this so I can use this appropriately without it lagging. But uh, we want the raw... I can't ever remember what this is. Soybeans, mushrooms, my brain decided to go AWOL today. Cassava and then other raw things that we are actually messing with over here. Uh, actually, that's it. We have enough storage for pretty much everything we need over here. The stuff that's happening over here does not have storage nearby, however, and we are going to have to uh, do something about that. And it does have some storage over in this area, but I'm not exactly sure what to do about uh, storage for all the rest. Not really uh, something I thought about, unfortunately, but I'm not, I'm not married to this way this is set up. Uh, canola oil. I'll tell you what. I will tell you what. Let's make another right here to hold canola oil just because I know we're going to need it. And then around the outside what, what is this? Pine resin. Okay, that doesn't need to be there. That can go away. Because that's not where we're growing the pine resin. We're growing the pine resin 
over here. Which uh, we have three little ones. That's fine. Oh man, if I had this set up better, then I could have uh, you know avoided this being set up that way. But that's all right. I'll just put a big old storage right here. Wow, why did my computer do that? Um, for pine resin, and that should permanently solve our problems. Putting that down there, that seems to be okay. But what I was getting at is we have all this space over here. We don't need to grow everything right here. But if we use these middle bits for storage, I think that would be a permissible thing. So we got these giant storages. Uh, over here we're doing eggplants. Over here we're doing corn. And the algae is in the middle. So honestly, we probably should have storage here, but we also need to have charging for the bots. So that is probably okay. I'm going to have this set to corn storage. I'm going to have this set to algae storage. Or no, not algae, eggplant. That's what was going on over here. Then the algae storage. Uh, what I meant to say is the algae storage needs to be, uh, needs to be somewhere. We could, uh, the way this is set up, we could uh, build over uh, this right here. This is a six wide, including the irrigation barrier. Which, you know what? Oh, it's not going to be quite enough because we have the uh, we have the water sources here. But if I were actually, if I replace these with the um, uh, the reinforced platforms, we might be able to make it work. All right, we're going to experiment in real time. Can I? Why can't I? Uh, is it not going to let me do it? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this one, folks. <laughs> we have ourselves a winner. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. <laughs> These are going to become reinforced platforms. Just those two. And then we will put the side platform on top of it. And then... Well, actually, we could do side platforms over the whole thing anyway. It's not like there's a rule saying we have to do it a uh, a certain way. But uh, I do like this idea. I think this is fancy, fancy, fancy. Yeah, just put this right here. Why don't we... Yeah, why don't we just do storage? I know we have these buildings here. They're not going to be here forever. Don't worry. But if we have this... Yeah, yeah, if we have this right here, then that is much better than having storage right in the uh, the middle right there. I think that's going to be quite nice. Let's do the same thing. Same thing over here. Why is the game still paused? I don't know. Let's unpause it. So we have some sort of passage of time, and we're not still on this one bad tide until the, uh, the complete end of everything. Oh, they can still get around. I can delete this. That's okay. Let's get these reinforced platforms in place. Yes, sirree. That is what I'm talking about. Right here, right here. Side platforms. Oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, the, oh, we could even put tanks on top of this. We could get almost this entire thing completely, uh, completely taken care of. Now, the only bad thing about doing it this way is uh, we can't have universally uh, large warehouses butting up right against here because that would block them off. So we either have to leave this middle bit undone, which uh, probably is the smarter way to do it. And then we can put smaller storages uh, right next door to it. Or well, I guess whatever's in the middle probably would work out just fine because I did eventually want to just connect all of this around here and then uh, leave this middle bit to be usable for other things. I don't know. Not entirely sure. But this is not the worst idea I have ever had. They haven't even started building that yet. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just uh, we'll just get rid of that. All right. So the the idea has evolved. 
but hopefully it still ends up making uh, making sense. Corn, eggplant, algae can go right here, these two. I know it's not the same amount, but that does look pretty decent. Pretty decent, and we can also, you know, stack that and probably be fine. All right, so that gives them something interesting to do in the middle here and also allows us uh, to have some ideas or other storage in the future as we continue uh, moving on around. Yeah, if I didn't have to get them over this, then I would just build this all the way out, but they do have to, you know, actually uh, cross over the way that we have this set up with the uh, irrigation blockers and everything. All right, so that's looking good. We've got our soybeans planted here. Uh, raw crops wise, we actually don't have, we don't have a shortage in anything. Kohlrabi's are looking a little low, but that was one of those things we were going to be fixing uh, anyhow once this is taken care of. So let's unplant all of these cassava. I'm going to make this corner into kohlrabi's once they harvest everything. Uh, the canola seeds we still still do not have enough of. So uh, you can guess what I'm about to plant here. It's going to be canola. <laughs> That's fine. And then uh, we aren't going through the algae quite as fast as I thought we were. But uh, we still don't really seem to have enough, which is uh, strange. You think we would, but... I digress. I was going to possibly... Oh, we also have other algae storage, you know, underneath this. So the amount of storage we have is fine. But I am going to continue building this out here. Just because that is how we have this set up. Uh, we need to have passage underneath. We need to have this set up to store algae. In fact, I need to make these set to supply... Well, maybe not all of them need to be set to supply, but I do need to make sure that is marked. And then we'll just build right on top. And that should be a-okay. So we'll have 16 hydroponic farms. I am aware that we will need to increase our water pumping. And we are also going to be working on that. But we're not out. It is going to get worse than the 2700 it currently shows. Yes, uh, we can recognize that. But it is not panic time just quite yet. We are doing A-OK. -okay. No cause for concern. Everything is fine. So we'll just extend this around. Make sure that can all be connected. Uh, this is a ladder, which I'm assuming... Oh, lag. I'm assuming we can extend upward and be okay with. So I will just have that go on the back side like so. All right, so now, yes, it is now 2,400 water. We are not exactly uh, flush with the liquid, but we do still have some to be pumped here. Not really that worried. These are prioritized, prioritized with a Z by haulers, uh, but this did not get a chance to fill up. So that is going to be uh, an interesting problem for us to solve. It's quite the explosion. Uh, this now uh, is four blocks tall, I believe. Uh, is going to need to have another two, or maybe it's just another one. How do I... Uh, I guess I should just actually measure this. Yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it was already two. Okay, all right. Now I remember. A single dynamite. I think that's all of that. Yes. And then that will be deep enough for the maximum depth. Deep enough for the maximum depth. That's a stupid thing to say. Uh, triple dynamite there. Good to go down. I'm gonna got one more. That's how we had it set up last time, at least. Put one more there, and then we'll put ladders, and then we can blow up all of the rest of this. And that will be a-okay. Now, can I get... There we go. Just had to get all the way around to the corner. One little bit at a time. 
So, yes, the reason we only have so much water right now is because we did not have it set up uh, very well to begin with, but we're not in any danger. We're still doing just fine. I'm going to go into triple speed now, though, because we did do a lot of the uh, a lot of the setup I originally wanted to do where the episode started. Well, or it really kicked off. I guess it did already start. No, now we have 12 bots. 12 bots we have uh, not assigned to do anything. Uh, we have hauling post is full of bots. All of these are full of bots. Uh, for the purpose of metal acquisition, we don't seem to have enough. Oh, these... <laughs> All right. Well, I thought I had already done that, but I guess that answers that question. Takes care of six bots. I was wondering why they hadn't gotten any gotten any metal. Sheesh. All right. Well, guess what? We can do the exact same thing over here. Wow. How did I... How did I get away with that for 30 minutes? That's pretty bad. That is... Uh, Yikes. Let's put uh, six more of these. These should be automatically set. Yes, there we go. Then I will do, just for right now, two of these set for scrap metal and set to supply. Get these bots doing what they need to be doing. And that should be A-OK. -okay. We also need to build some more chargers just so we have those on hand. All right, so that would be seven on a side. That'll give us 14 charges. We have 95 bots. Wow, we okay. So I guess I'm building more. <laughs> so we have this all connected. This should be okay. And then up here, we also need to have some additional spaces for bots to charge. Um, this has not been. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you why it's not been connected. Is because I hadn't built the <laughs> hadn't built the path to go over it yet. All right. That was uh, maybe not my brightest moment, but that's fine. We got some storage for canola oil. Uh, we still are not making a ton, mostly because we haven't been able to harvest canola seeds yet. But we've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of canola planted, and it is uh, coming of uh, harvestability right now, so that should be all right. Should be looking pretty good. We'll let these guys take care of what they have to take care of. And we'll continue adjusting our planting numbers as necessary. So that's all looking good. I did want to put in some more um, some more breeding pods, but I wasn't quite sure where to do it. I guess the way this is set up, these are probably the only campfires. Honestly, we need to have more, need to have more campfires. Maybe we'll do that in the the middle here, now that I got rid of all of these uh, food storages. It probably makes more sense to have those there anyway. So let's do... Mm, yes, lag. Three campfires here. What is this for? Explosives, corn rations, eggplant rations. Yeah, those are gone. Uh, all the explosives. 900. 900 explosives. Uh, let's at least move those to be, at least move those to be here. Uh, where's my explosives? There we go. And then we can start placing campfire here. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get rid of these builder's huts. Because we really don't have a need for that many beaver builders. And we have all these, uh unfilled jobs. Well, eventually we want all the jobs to be unfilled and all be bots, but we're not quite there yet. Let's put in those other campfires, which means we can get rid of these and instead, yeah, instead we can put campfires here. Little bits and pieces. Yeah, this is starting to become unplayable on triple speed, which is unfortunate, but with this gone from here, these are empty as well. So that's okay. Those can go bye bye. We have our berry storage and all that. That's looking good. Uh, we can do the advanced breeding pods if we really feel like it. But uh, I don't know that we want to go down that path. Maybe we do. I'm not sure. 
if we want beaver babies, then we probably don't. But at the same time, aren't you curious? Aren't you curious? So why, do, <laughs> why don't we... Uh, I could have just left those tanks in, I guess, but let's make some storage for extract up here. Do we need 2,400 extract storage here? Probably not, but we're going to do it anyway. Now let's find some of these that are close. There might not be any that are really close. They seem to all be about halfway through, which is astounding. They're all at the exact same time. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. I will just take these two. Gonna research our advanced breeding pods. And we'll put two of those in. Then we'll just replace them in bits and pieces. I think that would be fun. To have uh, either a mix or just all advanced breeding pods. Because that's going to have a higher working population. At least for the times that we need to have working beavers. Until we have bots everywhere. Unless we want to still have all the beavers do all the farming, which is, you know, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. But they got plenty of stuff to build. They did manage to finish this, so this is looking good. We got, wow, look at this. We got 2,300 mangrove fruits stored up. We haven't even finished putting all of our storages everywhere. So that's looking pretty good. Don't have any complaints there. So I suppose. And now is a. Uh, as good a time as any based on how this is set up. Wait, are we full on storage of canola seeds? No, we're not. My storage for canola seeds is only over here. Yeah, we're going to want to have some sort of other uh, accessible storage for those. I think the amount, the amount of canola seeds we're probably going to have to go through is going to necessitate having other storage somewhere else. So why don't we... We've got extra space on the back here. What What is in this? Berries. Okay, we definitely don't need to have... Definitely don't need to have this here. At least not the way this is set up. We, we can figure out some other thing to put there, but we don't need to have food storage. <sighs> See, I kind of want to put in... Kind of want to put in some more... Uh, canola seed storage. I gotta figure out where that would go. I guess... I guess we could prioritize farmhouses by haulers. And just let them take care of it. That's probably... Probably the best way. I can do this faster by just clicking over this. Um, farmhouse. Farmhouse, farmhouse. Yep. Just mark all those. These are all set for planting. Well, that's probably not smart. Uh, this center guy, I think we can set for click. Thank you. Harvesting. Probably universally. That should be fine. These guys can all just be, be planting away. But now, oh no, we're out of water. Oh, we're all going to die. No, we're not. It's going to be fine. Going to be fine. Oh no, we only have 1.3 days left and we're down to literally five water. Well, friends, this is where we employ the desperation method of just putting these deep water pumps back in place along the side here and just drinking a nice piping hot cup of humble tea. Because that seems to be uh, seems to be the beverage of choice. Let's uh, let's prioritize that Man, that was a pretty boneheaded mistake that I had uh, I'd made in uh, getting this whole thing ready to go. But uh, we were, were no no beavers are gonna die of thirst in 1.3 days. It's gonna be fine. Now this is ready to have plenty of water storage down in there, and this area is uh, in need of some ladders. But once that's taken care of, we'll be A-OK, -okay, good to go. Yeah, the addition of the 16 hydroponic farms has definitely caused our water needs to just skyrocket. 
So we are going to have to figure out something else. And yes, we are all thirsty boys and girls. Things are going to be interesting. <laughs> They're going to be interesting for a while here. But nobody should die of thirst. Although they are very thirsty. Uh, once these get put in place, we will be able to at least slake some of our thirst. It's just going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit suboptimal for a period of time. But now there's water here, and they can come get some. And then in 0.7 days, the good water will be back, and we won't have quite nearly so many problems. We have three out of four corners ready to accept a ton of water to be pumped out. We just need to get this other one taken care of. These are already dried up. Yikes. Okay. Well, you know how it goes. Yeah, they're, uh, they're working on it. We're working on it. Just takes time to get all this stuff done. So while we are having this, uh, shall we say, crisis of thirst, I did want to talk about something that Battery Smooth has made. Brand new mod called Big Signs. You see these capital letters, numbers, accents. Uh, brand new over on mod.io. As of the recording of this video, only 17 people have downloaded it. I am one of them. And I think Battery Smooth is another one. So really, outside of me and him, 15 other people have ever looked at this mod. So what it is, go back to a single single speed here. I'm trying to find a good place to demonstrate. I guess this nice clear area will do. Uh, so this is quite literally just big letters. A through Z, zero through nine, and then accents, different uh, fun stuff that you can you can play with as you uh, as you desire. But all you got to do is just come down here, place your signs down, they do kind of have a default direction, I suppose. But if we want to spell the name of our, our little colony as uh, like the Hollywood sign, we got Beaverburg. Get the R. I don't know why I want to default to QWERTY layout. This is this is just alphabetical. Beaverburg, and then this is Beaverburg 15. So we can either do the XV for 15. I did spell that right, right? Okay, good. Or we can go over to numbers and hit our one and our five. Each one of these is four planks to build. Uh, no other requirements. You don't have to research or anything. And that's fantastic stuff. If you want to do umlauts, tildes, macrons, etc., cetera, the, uh, the double set in German <laughs> or whatever, you can do whatever you want. I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, you just have to find a way to... Uh, get stuff on top like look look, look, look at this sets up here this is this is so cool i know you wouldn't ever okay i didn't even hit the, i didn't even hit on top of anything i know there's no umlaut in the u and beaverberg but but look look how cleanly that just slots on and these don't have to be well okay well the actual accents that go on top of letters don't have to be built so you don't have to worry about scaffolding they just appear and now i have a terribly really badly misappropriated umlaut in the U in Beaverburg. Uh, obviously, we can't build this down here because there's no beaver access, but I just think this is so cool. I love these giant letters. Uh, there's all sorts of possibilities. We will be adding this properly to the build when it's not quite so chaotic about beavers being thirsty. Uh, but uh, I'm thinking there's all sorts of cool implications for this in our builds, your builds, future builds, etc. So if you have any uh, interesting signage ideas that you feel so compelled to uh, add to our colony here, please do drop those in the comments. Uh, safe for work only, please. I, I know some of you are not going to uh, want to abide by that, but that's, uh, that's your choice. Anyway, I think this is great. I would love to use those in the future. Just got to find a good place for them. So we'll, we'll get rid of that. But I did. Okay, that didn't go away. Uh, I did want to make you guys aware of that because I just think that is a fantastic, really cool, brand new mod that Battery Smooth did a great job with. So now we have water actually able to get in here. Uh, we should see these corners filling up very soon. 
Uh, they, of course, are working on all this stuff. I can't really uh, explode this one out quite yet because, well, they haven't placed all the explosives down. But the rest of these should be getting water in them very soon. Let's go back to uh, regular three times speed and go from there. I know all the beavers are still thirsty. That problem is slowly solving itself. And we do have these pumps working uh, to keep them from dying right now. But we should see, yes, this starting to get back to work thanks to our uh, water pumps in the corners. That's kind of why I wanted to put those in all the corners, but I don't know that we're going to absolutely have to have those. We might still do that, though, just so it can be uh, a faster recharge when it comes down to it. For right now, though, I think we are doing just fine. Yeah, so the, the pools aren't really working, but the hydroponic farms still are. And this is going to be an interesting thing for us to keep up with. So outside of that, that is pretty much everything I had dialed up for us to work on today outside of uh, trying to figure out some other stuff for the bots to do. Uh, we need to do more power for the bots. I was thinking about maybe... Uh, we talked a little bit last episode about putting in some water wheels here to charge uh, for the bots. But uh, I think, honestly, it probably is better to kind of concentrate stuff up in the, uh, the central area. We do have, let's not forget, these uh, straight power shafts that seem to be working okay. Uh, I believe it would probably be in our best interest to send this up and then uh, connect with everything else. Uh, I will do, I believe, a universal power shaft would make sense here. And then, uh, of course, we can have this come across this way and connect, get everything hooked up correctly. I believe that would be a smart choice for us, so we will do that. And then, uh, because of the way that we've done this, uh, and this is a universal power shaft, and this is already space that was going to be wasted, we can come in and just put charging stations right here, just three of those that the bots can take advantage of. It's right next to the ladder. And then uh, we can do the same thing over here once I put in all of our uh, our other fun, fun stuff here. So we just have that one deep hole there, one deep hole here. And yes, even though we don't really, strictly speaking, need to have these here, I think it's going to be a very smart idea uh, for us to do that just so we aren't caught with our pants down, so to speak. I don't want to be in a situation where it's going to work. Really. So that's going to go here. That's going to go here. You know the drill. We've done this a million times. Well, not literally a million times, but quite a few times. And I don't even have to wait for this explosive to go off because I could just uh, put the pumps in anyway. Deep mechanical fluid pump. Make sure I have it at least oriented to the correct way. There we go. And we we don't really need these to be here, but uh, I'm glad that they are. They're going to allow us to have bot chargers. We will have to rework some of this to be put in the uh, correct way. Like this right here is going to need to, instead of being a vertical shaft, be a universal shaft. But that's easily fixed. That will be A-OK. -okay. Same thing over here. Another thing that is quite easily taken care of. So I know there were those of you who said that you didn't like the mechanical pumps, but that right there and our continuing, by the way, continuing problem with water is a very good example of the benefits that those do provide. So as uh, quote unquote unnecessary as you may think they are, uh, we have a very good reason to be using these. And now that we have, or we will have, these charging stations in place in the corners, 
uh, we are going to be... Wait, this isn't connected to anything, is it? Oh, that's because this isn't connected. Okay. But we're, we're going to make good use. Going to make good use of them. And I don't think we have any... Uh, any remaining justification for not having this in place. That will get that taken care of. Yeah, give these guys plenty of stuff to do. And then, of course, coming right along here, this being a vertical power shaft will be changed over for a universal, but not until after everything else is good to go. All right, so uh, we're coming up toward the end of this episode. So like I always do, I want to let you know that I always read the comments. So any comments, questions, concerns, uh, roasts, or whatever is on your mind, please do always feel free to leave those. I do always take a look, even if I can't respond to whatever it is specifically that you're saying. I do always, always, always take them to heart. And I make good notes of that. Oh, hey, look, this is, uh, this is three deep. Is it? Yeah, it's three deep and not, uh, not one. Why did I, uh, why did I do it that way? Well, no matter what, it's already here, so I will just do a, uh, I'll do a double underneath that. No sense in tearing it out because it's already here. There we go. Then I just know to come over in the corner and do the same thing again. Nope, not there. The bad thing about how this is set up is that now we kind of are in a position where we, uh, we're going to be forced to uh, play catch up with the water for quite some time. And that's not going to be uh not exactly going to be ideal. So now this is all empty. But why are these... Why are these closed? These shouldn't... Oh. I ignored, I ignored this during temperate. I should not have done that. Should not have done that. Or I should have had the default height. Default height to zero. Why? It's always like one of these does this. These are set the same way. So why is this one not open? But this one is. Wait, or is it? No, that's closed. Why are these closed? They should not be closed. Are these open? I don't know. I feel like this has just broken my brain the way these floodgates are set up. It's like every every episode something goes wrong with these. This, these need to be open. These absolutely need to be open. So what 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 is up with this? What is up with this? Is it just because I defaulted them to be to be taller? I didn't think that was it. I was like, I was sure that's not what that was. Yeah, because there's just no uh there's no water here. Or maybe it's because I said ignore during temperate and then the default height is two. I don't know. I know every time I say this, you guys think I'm an idiot, but I, I really and truly do not understand how the floodgate automation is supposed to work. Somewhere there's someone who's blue in the face typing and screaming about how, why can't you understand? I just, I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't, I, I literally cannot explain to you why it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. So I guess I just have to continually fix that. Don't really know why. Don't uh, don't think I have any reasonable explanation for it. That's just how it is. Anyway, canola can go here. This needs to be kohlrabi's. They haven't really harvested everything yet. Uh, but we can go ahead. Oh, I have so much cassava. You know, what? Uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to get rid of these. It's not worth the grief. We just need to need to have this going so much better than it already is. That goes all the way to the corner here, and that should get us down to the minimum level there. 
I don't know. I don't know what it was. I, like you, you watch me do all of this stuff. So it, it really should not be an issue. Should not be an issue of, oh, well, there's no reason for it to be like that. Because you've seen that I haven't changed this stuff and it's worked and then it just doesn't work. Well, they should be able to uh, to go a lot faster now, at least. Uh, they're still working on this. Uh, but it is probably time to go ahead, now that we're going to have the, uh, the chargers and everything too. Uh, the water pumps are going to need to be bots. Just 24 hours. Oh, they're not water pumps. They're deep water pumps. I'm sorry. They're going to need to be bots. And we will definitely have enough bots to take care of that. Just need to make sure I'm clicking all of these. It is kind of hard with the uh, monotone color scheme here on the slider for me to be sure at a glance what it's facing here. Especially if you got a billion of these at once. Yeah, but if these are all botified, then that is going to make it so much easier. All right. Now we can migrate populations. Minimum bots. I'll go up to 60. That ought to give us enough to run the pumps. Or at least most of the pumps. Yeah, the rest of this... Rest of this, we're not entirely sure. Entirely sure what's going on. At least these gates are open now, man. Wait a second. Wait, why are these all the way open? Uh, they're not supposed to be all the way open. These are supposed to be. Did I set those wrong? Or are they just not connected to anything? Oh, I didn't hit disable, disable. Wait a second. Why? Why are they still down? Oh, okay, the default height wasn't set. No wonder. No wonder. All right. Now, now it's taken care of. Now we should hopefully see a little bit more water coming here. And see, this is this is what happens when you have ridiculous, stupid water problems that happen because you made bad choices. Is it can take a whole cycle for it to come back and uh, stop being a problem. But at least the beavers aren't all completely thirsty anymore. That's progress. Takes time, folks. Takes time to get these weird problems fixed. I also need to replace uh, these little voids here with land. We have we have dirt, so we probably could easily get away with that. But this is one of those where I uh, I had a five by five area here. Instead of a three by three, because I thought I thought it was going to be cool to have this go all the way out. Those, this is the early days of the irrigation changes, I think, when we did this, and uh, quite obviously, it did not work that way. Wow, we are um, we're out of gears. What happened to all the gears? I guess that's not enough. Not enough gears. All right, so now I got all these problems to figure out, man. I did not know why this was like this. But that's, uh, that's the way it goes, I guess. I'm assuming a lot of the gears are going to building the uh, mechanical pumps. Oh yeah, 100 each. So that, that would empty those out pretty quick. And then maybe the rest are going to making bots. Because I do have six of these factories. Which one of these has the gears... Okay, the limbs and the heads. Okay. And I do have gear storage down here. It's just not full. Yeah, so we're going to have to uh we're going to have to get on it with some of the wood uh the wood stuff, but we are uh just about out of time for this one. I, I wanted to get more stuff done, but I guess we were just playing with uh playing with farming and fixing uh bots to do more jobs. Okay. Well, sorry it wasn't more exciting, I guess, but it is important stuff that needed to get done. And, um, wait, hold on. These are facing the wrong way. Those are supposed to be... <laughs> this is supposed to be facing the other direction. Those are actually paths, right? Okay. Well, I'm glad I caught that, because that would have been... Would have been pretty dumb. All right. 
we've made some some sort of improvement. We we are rapidly improving our, our water number. I think that's probably probably got something to do with the bots. Uh, we still have not gotten all of our uh, explosives down there, but I do have those here. Did we do the same thing over here? We sure did. Um, we got enough in the way of wood to take care of the rest of this. Just get that underway. Now, I don't have... I don't have any... Uh... Oh good, I did put the... Uh, I did put the little tunnel there. So I guess I could have them do the straight power shafts here. All the way down. And then over to here, same thing on the other side. Yeah, because I haven't even built the other uh, the other bit of stuff over here. Yeah, but getting this shared all the way across is going to be super, super important. Is this all the way? Yes, it is. Any stupid beavers down there? No. Okay. All right. And in order for us to put the pump in the corner, we are going to have to get rid of this entire stack of ladders. Let's find that is easily done. And then over here in the corner, that one is already out. We already have the pumps there. I guess it didn't care about having uh, platforms in the way, so that's uh, that's kind of cool. I guess we could still do this then. And then in the middle, since we already have the power here, we could put uh, somebody suggested the. Uh, Tribute to industry, ingenuity, whatever it's called. There we go. Tribute to ingenuity would be cool in the middle because it's powered. Um, but yeah, we could uh, we could kind of pretty easily get power over here. Well, we could figure it out at the very least. If you like that idea, uh, let me know in the comments. If you don't, let me know. Uh, people said, hey, you should put a large water tank in the center. That's probably a little bit of a better idea. But uh, I, I kind of like the the uh, tribute to ingenuity being in there. I think that's kind of cool. So that's looking okay. Uh, this is those are all set the same same way. Should be good. Got some nice storage. We are lacking on the uh, corn and algae rations. We shouldn't be. Oh boy, I love getting three FPS. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they got uh, they got bored. Didn't want to do. It. My God, this lag is something bad. All right, I gotta I gotta pause it just to be able to place items, just to be able to place items. So we'll uh, we'll get this taken care of, and then uh, we'll probably say goodbye for today, just to make sure everything can uh, get accomplished in a good amount of time. So again, don't forget we have. The naming poll for the second district in this playthrough uh, is on the community tab. If it's not on the community tab, yell at me in the comments and I will turn it on. But that will take care of all of that for us. This I'm going to make a four way just because why not? There is no reason not to have it work that way. This goes, I think, like so. Yes. I think that's how I had it set up. Mm, oh no, I had that set up that way so we could come in the uh, the front here. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We can't can't forget about that. But outside of that, uh, tomorrow we have another episode of the Folk Tales. Wait, no, I, I had that correct. Uh, Folk Tales Hard Mode, new episode of that tomorrow, and then uh, this. Or not, not tomorrow. I th why did I think today was Thursday? No, tomorrow is Monday. Tomorrow is Monday. Monday, I don't do videos. I have to remind myself that Monday is my off day. <laughs> Which means Sunday night is my off day, because that's when I would end up recording the stuff. But, uh, you know, you know how this thing goes. <laughs> but we will have uh, another episode of Folktales on Tuesday. That is when that comes out, is Tuesday. Me. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, but that will be out Tuesday, Wednesday. More Prison Architect. Uh, might wrap that series up. 
this week, if not definitely the next week, and then I'm going to start a new one so we can have that. Uh, oh, they've almost gotten rid of all of the, uh, the metal there. Cool. We can solve that problem later then. Next episode. So that's looking good here. And then this. Oh, good. We still have to do this one. And then, of course, this series, what I meant to say earlier, this series picks back up on Thursday. And then uh, Folktales again on Friday. Saturday, a week from yesterday, as of the time that you will be watching this for the first time. Uh, no live stream, because I've got other stuff I've got to take care of. Next couple of Saturdays and some Sundays. But after the second week of March, I believe, after the second week of March, we should be having regular live streams on the weekends once again pretty much every weekend unless uh, something comes up so get excited about that we got all sorts of fun stuff coming your way to uh, try out some new games old games uh, did I put this in the wrong way I absolutely did I used the wrong <laughs> I used the wrong thing but we got new games coming we got old games coming we got all sorts of cool stuff and I think you guys are gonna like it and and I've talked about this a little bit in the live streams if you've been part of those. Uh, but I'm going to start streaming on Twitch again. Uh, probably most of that is not going to be City Builder content. Uh, I've got some puzzle games, RPGs, stuff like that I think we're going to be doing on that. Should be a fun time. But as always, would love to have you be a part of that. But if that kind of stuff is not your style, that is A-OK. -okay. I'm happy to have you here. And we will, of course, have all sorts of fun that we can get into on this channel. Oh, I did this incorrectly. Silly me. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little bit too excited here. But we got all sorts of fun stuff coming up. And I would love for you to be a part of it. Now that we actually have all of this done, we can let them get back to work building all of it. And all four corners will be automated and we have justified the use of the mechanical fluid pumps so we can refill these as fast as humanly possible, beaverly possible, etc. Anyway, uh, we can get rid of these. That was our emergency emergency uh, protection there. But that is looking just fine. Otherwise, for food uh, growing... It's looking good. The numbers for all of the raw food are up. Not quite where we want them to be 100%, but we've made some great strides, and I think we'll be in a very good shape moving forward. We probably, believe it or not, still don't have enough canola being, uh, being grown, so we might have to mess with that a little bit. All that being said, we are just about out of time out of uh, out of energy to get anything else done in this one, but we we did get a lot done. We've automated for the most part our uh, water pumping in the upper district. Uh, we can check out. Uh, I got three vacancies, so we'll bring in three more bots. Uh, two more, two more than three more, so we'll have sixty-five. That should be okay. We'll of course continue uh, bringing stuff up there, but they can fully automate the water. And then we can start automating hauling as well. There will be plenty of charging stations uh, power-wise. The only problem we're going to run into potentially is uh, during droughts, not having enough power storage up here because the only power storage we have is underneath uh, these guys. And while it is filling up, it will not last the entire, uh, the entire length of a drought, even though the droughts are only a maximum of nine days. So we do still need to figure out a way to get power from the outer ring up into the inner one. And we will uh, we will have a fun time with that, I am sure. All sorts of ways we can make that work. But for right now, I believe, friends, we are just about done with whatever we can possibly get done in this one. So there you have it. That's going to be it for today. As always, appreciate you being here. Appreciate the Beard Boosters and their fantastic support makes it possible for us to continue doing this and to keep the weird nonsense garbage sponsorships out of the channel that nobody really cares about. Uh, so 
that's always a nice thing. I, I don't really uh, care to see too many of that stuff. Of course, you know, if it's like an actual on topic thing, like a like a good game where somebody sponsors a, a video or a stream, that that's a OK. But uh, no, no Raid Shadow Legends, no VPNs, no, no, any of that in here. Just beavers and having a good time and me making stupid mistakes because that's just that's just how it ends up working. But we solved most of our problems for today. Uh, again, name inst name instructions, name suggestions for the second district. Uh, you can uh, vote for those in the uh, poll in the community tab. And we will see you again very soon for more beavers and more other fun stuff. So have a fun rest of your day. Whatever it is you're doing, stay safe. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.